So this mitigation project is located south of the city of Watkins in Meeker County, approximately 20 miles south of St. Cloud. We're in the Mississippi River watershed. So this project started with the landowner contacting me to talk about the, the property and some issues he was having cropping it. So he was learning about the wetland mitigation banking process and contacted us to determine if this would be a good site for mitigation. This piece, we bought it in, I believe, 2015. Farmed it for several years and realized there might be a uh, better purpose for it. It was hard to farm in a wet year and whatever. Raised a good crop, but it was hard to, uh, hard to get it all done. Wetland mitigation is a regulatory process required by state and federal regulatory agencies to offset impacts to wetlands. So when a residential developer or a farmer proposes to impact the wetland for a development or in the farmer's case to do a drainage project to improve crop productivity on his land, he has to offset the loss of wetlands. Wetland mitigation banking allows a different landowner to restore a wetland on their property and then sell those restored wetland credits to the person that's proposing to impact the wetland. So the goal of this project was to restore historic wetland that was, was present on the site and would result in the establishment of wetland credits that the landowner could sell. Part of the decision process was, uh, you know, if, if we can do something that will benefit people downstream and, and other areas, and it's still a financial incentive for us, it was kind of like a no-brainer, why not do it? So this project started in 2016. Over the next approximately three years, we worked on developing plans and then coordinating the regulatory review and ultimately the approval of those plans. Construction was completed in 2020, as well as initial seeding and vegetation establishment. And since we put it in to a wetland, it's just been amazing the amount of birds and, and waterfall. We have people stopping on the road with cameras and telescopes watching all the birds out here. Obviously our uh, foliage and plants are thriving. Right now we're in 2022, so we are in year two after the site was constructed. For wetland bank projects, there's typically a five-year monitoring period. So right now, our work on the project consists of coming to the site and identifying vegetation that's growing and making sure our water levels are where they're supposed to be. We use that information to prove that the site is meeting the performance goals that were set. And then as those performance goals are met, we're able to release the credits for sale. It definitely is a way for a farmer to benefit by taking a piece of ground that hasn't been economically feasible and, and is you know almost more uh, trouble than it's worth and turn it into something good. I've done some figures and uh, I've done the 100 year plan and I mean I, I wouldn't make as much in 100 years as I plan to make on this. And then we still have the land. Wetland mitigation can really be a win-win for landowners. On one hand, the economics of it, it can allow a landowner to get some profit off an area of their property that would not be profitable. Maybe you can't crop it or it's not buildable land. The second part is the restoration of these wetlands generally creates very high quality wildlife habitat and the restoration of wetland functions such as flood storage, water quality improvement. These restored wetlands can really be a nice asset to a property. We've been very satisfied working with Wes Bowl and Jeff Madajek and more engineering. Every question I've had has been answered in a suitable time and, and manner. I would have absolutely no reservations about recommending you know, Wes to, for anybody's project. I think what makes more staff stand out in this process is our ability to work with landowners and help them achieve the goal of the project. The more team has experts that can help you with every step of the process, from initial site evaluation, through the development and implementation of the plan, and finally the monitoring of the project. Moore has the scientists, surveyors, engineers, and everybody that can help you with every step of this process to be a one-stop shop for wetland mitigation banking. Mm -hmm.